Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 20. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and BioPhoenix. Here we go again. Yep. Yep, and now I'm we're going to get the mirror of ECW. <laughs> so I take it you watched the Royal Rumble that happened recently? Yeah, kind of disappointed. Oh, yeah. But at least Reigns didn't win. <laughs> I'm not really a he Reigns hater. I just don't didn't want him. He, he he did not need to win the Royal Rumble. If I remember right, wasn't it Randy Orton that won? Yeah, he, yes. He didn't need to win either, but it was a nice swerve in the end, at least. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he's actually still wrestling because I don't know. I just never really hear anybody talk about him. Yeah. Anymore. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he was one of the few ones that I remember that actually wasn't too bad. He's yeah. like, kind of like what, kind of like what Jim Cornette said about Triple H. He's not the guy that draws the money. He's the guy that works with the guy that draws the money. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, nice. These speaking of wrestling, these heels right here that try to jump the face just got pwned. <laughs> <laughs> now to get the mirror of Twilight. Ah, oh, this is cool right here. This item. Oh, I love that thing. Yeah. I hope it spins one way and Link spins the other. Yeah. Yo, DJ from S2K, spin that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wish you could use that item, like, no matter where you are, but you can't. Yeah. Well, that well, one, you just, can. Like, it just won't do much. It. Well, well, you can. You can ride it anywhere you want, but I just, uh... It specializes in uh, that what we're doing right here, ride, riding the rails, as Skip would say. Well, shit, it's broken. Oh, what the heck, man? It's just a chain reaction here to a bunch of broken stuff. Fail. The Boulevard uh, of Broken Dreams? Well, if the mirror's broken, wouldn't that mean it'd be like seven years bad luck? Yeah, Link's that way you know the seven years be sealed up in time before he can do anything. Oh, man, there we go. <laughs> oh, now she's going to get pissed. <gasps> it's like one fucking corner. <laughs> right. Oh, man. I, re I really did used to believe that, too. If you broke a mirror, you get seven years of bad luck for real. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I kind of believed it, too. Nah, I laugh in the face of danger. Whenever I see a ladder, I walk under it. Yeah, I, I used to really believe in all superstition. These guys are weird looking. Yeah. I like how their faces are not attached. They're like masks. Yeah, the fucking plane uninvited here. Yeah. <laughs> He? Only he possesses. I wonder who that could be. Whoa. His name is. Oh. Whoa. Ganondorf. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. What? Uh, Ganondorf. I never well, would there's guess. a big surprise. Ganondorf <laughs> is behind all this. I haven't been shocked I since I, I haven't been this shocked since I played Mega Man Six and found out Mr. X was not the main antagonist. <laughs> <sighs> Good God, King Ganondorf the whole time? What? That, it that's... was me, Austin. Yeah, it was me, Link. It was me all along. Wait, that that's gotta be that's gotta that's gotta be Ganondorf. That's gotta be Ganondorf. I do like the way he looks in this game. He actually looks fierce. Yeah. Man. Yeah. The classic Ganondorf theme. Oh, they stuck it to him. <laughs> Michael Cole, wait, wait a minute, King, what? what? He's still alive. 
Uh oh. He's still alive, King. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> so by some divine prank, the gods granted some evil person power. But what? Yeah, that's one hell of a prank. Good job, gods. You had one job. Oh. Well, without evil, there can be no good, right? Holy yeah. shit. Like, oh. Jody needs you to come in here and whop someone. Yeah, right. Wait a minute, King. That that must be the mirror of Twilight. What's that's gonna do? So the last ditch him? effort. There goes my sword. <laughs> ah! What happened to a Michael Cole? Great movie. Yeah. Ooh. That'd be a good Halloween mask to wear. <laughs> and now the mirror of ECW has been broken. We must look for the shards throughout the wrestling business. One in ECW <laughs> Arena, the other in uh, the Georgia Dome, the other <laughs> at uh, the uh, Alamo Dome. <laughs> but there's none in the impact zone because no one cares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must destroy Heimendorf. Let me guess. More dungeons to go to. It's almost like a formula. Like half the Zelda games, they do this. You start out by having to find three something. And then after doing that, you find out that there's a big plot twist and all that. And then you got to find something else for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. Come on, so Mega the... Man. Uh, another Mega Man reference like you get through... One bad guy's castle, and there's another castle to go through. Yeah. Although now they're going to be changing that with the newer ones, so it seems. Huh. Yes, drastically. Yes. I've been wanting them to. I've been wanting them to do that for years, but at the same time, I have to put myself in a different mindset, a different type of gameplay style when I play this one. So instead of Gandorf, there's going to be some guy with bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, to me personally, I I prefer Gandorf as the heel all the time because I I love Gandorf as a, as a bad guy. He's awesome. That's one of the reasons. It is Ganon trying, in Breath was, of the Wild. I, well, see, Except well, now they're calling him they're, they're calling him Calamity Ganon. You just spoiled. You, you just spoiled everything for every. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but like <laughs> it was in the trailer. Oh, okay. Well, see, they should have done that. I mean, I know it's obvious. It's most likely going to be Gandorf. But I'm surprised they named the villain in the trailer. They didn't do that with Twilight Princess. I guess because they wanted Zant to be known as the main antagonist and then Swerve, even though we all pretty much Well, do. in this new one, there's like a huge backstory going into it, and apparently the backstory itself has been revealed, but I'm avoiding it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't blame you on that. So where in the Book of Historia does that timeline, where does that game fit the timeline? <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll find out next week on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Vispin Man, along with Jared the King. Shut up, man. Your toupee is getting receding hairline. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, you failed, McMahon. Fuck Come on. Yeah. Uh, thank you, pardon. One, two. He's got him. Oh, no. Two count. Oh, come on, Link. What a maneuver. I don't know. Link's all I know. The boat in your eye. <laughs> Yeah, all I know when it comes to like the Zelda timeline, it just seems like they're going like even farther back. Um, like with the story. I was wondering... Skyward Sword was the earliest I think they could possibly get. Majora's yeah. Mask, Majora's Mask is a great game, but I didn't particularly like it compared to the other Zeldas. And one of the reasons why is because Gandorf was not the boss; it was some mask. I'm like, <laughs> real creative. Uh, well. I 
I'll go on. I love that game. And one of the reasons why I love it is because of how different and dark it is. Yeah, I... This is the kind of darkness I like. The Twilight Princess darkness. The Majora's Mask darkness isn't, didn't quite do it for me. I think Majora's Mask is alright, but uh, the, the only thing I don't like is the... Um, hey! <laughs> Sorry, Chris. I'll say real quick. See? How does he know Link Wolf? Link Wolf, how does he know that's him? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, what were you saying, Chris? I was saying that, like, with Majora's Mask, it's a, it is a, a good game, but I just don't like time limit in it. Yeah, me and But Jamie I do is... like a lot of the other things about it, though. Yeah, me and Jamie weren't a big fan of the, the three-day uh, thing, but the moon was awesome, especially when it, it got closer and closer to you and you witnessed it destroy the Earth. That was pretty cool. Well, we got, we got lucky over here, because from what I understand, in the original Japanese version, you could not save at those owl statues. The only way to save, period, was to travel back to the first day. Oh, that would uh, suck. Dumb. All right, so... Back to this ambient Hyrule field music again. Oh. John Cena haters now firing at John Cena for winning the belt for the 16th time. <laughs> for like a millionth time. <laughs> the Legend of Cena. Breath of the uh, title. I don't know. <laughs> Breath of the title? <laughs> that makes sense. Breath of the... No, forget that. The Legend of Dreamer. Breath of the East. Breath of the Mark. <laughs> a breath of the mark, yeah. You know, remember back in so the you day... you had no the... problem trans transporting in front of those guys. Yeah, well, I guess because they're enemies. Um, but yeah, I was going to say, remember the old, the Smackdown games, you Smackdown, know your role, then shut your mouth, and here comes the pain, then uh, just bring it. If, if oh, they yeah. kept on doing that today, I bet you there'd be a game called You Can't See Me. Smackdown, you can't see me. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Or Smackdown, the champ is here. I bet you there would be one call that. Oh, probably. They could do a commercial where Cena would be like, there are as many games as title reigns for me. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, uh, if Flair was still able to really go in the ring and be active in storylines, that would be a good feud. He, he, he congratulates him and then turns on him and gives him a low blow. You think you can tie my record? You're not worth it. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I would love to see after he wins number 17, because it's going to happen. You know it. Flair, come out and tell the truth. Say, you know, this company says I only won 16, but I'll have you know I have won more than that. And just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. And then they have John Cena beat that. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, like no, uh, we, we we gotta start Roman Reigns on his trek to 16. Yeah. Now there's a there, there's a picture on Twitter, Ric Flair posing with Cena, congratulating him. That was supposed to be done on TV, but I forgot what happened. Time constraints or something, so they didn't have Flair come out and do it. I wonder if Flair deep down, I guess trying to be a good sportsman and not be a hater and realize it's fake anyway, he probably doesn't really care. I think the fans care more than Flair does. Oh, probably, yeah. With the amount of times that the woman's title was switching back and forth for a little while, some fans are wondering if they want if they want to eventually have Charlotte be a 16-time women's champion. Yeah, I think that's what they're going for, because she won, what, three times already? But, like I said on Facebook the other day, it's like, look how many titles Cena has won. In let, uh, just a little over 10 years in the same company, that really shows you how much of a hot potato all these titles are now. Yeah. And some people will say, well, is it okay for Flair to win it 16 times? Well, he defended it in different territories back then. The wrestling was different back then. Plus, Flair, how awesome he was, it's believable for him to win it that many times. He had great matches with pretty much every single guy he defended it against. And I, I think... Every single one of them, with very few exceptions, ended up better because of it, whether they won or lost. Yeah, he also wrestled a man that was asleep. Literally, he wrestled. <laughs> Kerry Von Erich fell asleep during their match, and he was still wrestling with him as if <laughs> it looked like he was really wrestling with him. So 
that proves that Rick Flair can have a wrestling match with a broomstick. <laughs> Didn't he, like, take his jacket off once and start fighting with that? Yeah, he would normally, like, t take his jacket off and bounce off the ropes, do an elbow drop or a knee drop, then get back on the microphone start yelling again. <laughs> What is this? Is this the 17th world title? Nope. 100 rupees. Well, at least you can fit them in your pocket this time. Yeah. Yeah. On the one hand, I like how this game, it'll leave them in the chest if you don't have enough room. But the completionist in me and the dungeons that wants to open every chest, it drives me crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to be like the game completionist? Uh, he does some things that I I, can, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think you're, I think you're refer, referring to uh, Gerard or whatever his name is. I think Gerard so. Gerard Khalil, yeah. 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 I see him and Wega doing that. Wega's a perfectionist. How's that Lala doing, honey? Or Illa, whatever her name is. Well, honey, ooh, ooh, shut up. I want to talk to these people over here, not you. <laughs> Things about to get cold up in this biz edge. Yep. Hey, Russell. Sean Connery? Oh, wait. <laughs> Sean Connery? <laughs> Shy Link, you're alive and well. You cannot die, McCloud. <laughs> you beat Arbiter's Grounds. Oh, oh shit. You must find the Princess Zelda. The Sages. That oh, are first mirror in the Arbiter's Grounds. Yeah. It sucks that he quit acting. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he is old. Yeah, but he still he still could have kept going. It was just he quit because of that one movie he did, like, pissed him off or something. I don't know about that. Oh, it was the... What was that movie? The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Oh, yeah. Uh, I just know... Um, oh, yeah, I've heard yes, right. I was thinking, when you said that, I was thinking of the, the League of Extraordinary Gamers. Or the League of Extraordinary, uh, whatever that group is called, with uh, Wade Barrett and Rusev and Sheamus and whoever else it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, League of Nations. League of Nations. Yeah. League of Jobbers. Yeah. <laughs> There's not three men in this business that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with us. I, I can't do Barrett's accent, but then that's when Austin Foley and Shawn Michaels came out with their ass. I was there for that. That was epic. <laughs> Seamus can freaking blind you with his skin. Yeah. Oh, oh, you see that? That's BS. Link would be dead. <laughs> Link In any be other game, he'd be dead. Who are you playing as? John Cena? I mean, Super Cena here? Super Link? Uh, John Cena did that. Oh, wait. Oh, he just missed. AJ's going for the cover. One, two. Cena kicked out at two. <laughs> I can see Jeff Hardy like jumping off something like that. Right, yeah. The Swanton Bomb, except he doesn't tuck his chin in in time. Oh. Yeah. You know, speaking of Cena, why, when he hit the first AA in that match, why did he, like, like try to do, like, a Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero roll through and then do another one? I thought that was weird. I guess to put emphasis on it, saying this is it. And, yep, yeah, I thought he had it when he did it off the top turnbuckle. And AJ kicked out. I'm like, yes. You can't follow a shooting with a stabbing. Right. Well, what the? Oh, that's uh, one of the other hello. one of the other uh, members of that uh the committee. Well, hello there. I'll show you my sword if you show me yours. It's a little cold out here. Why don't I just warm you up? <laughs> are you warm? warm <sighs> up? Are you warm warming up to me, Link? <laughs> hey, baby. Uh, you wanna chill? Uh, uh, Zelda, Zelda, and chill. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. climb to the top of the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's the mountain I like to climb. Uh, God, I even sound like Luna when I do that. Yeah, yeah, Saber. Yeah, Saber. Here's the Ashy. Is that her name? Ashy's. That sounds like a ghetto name. Like some girl might have ashy legs. Yo, Ashy. <laughs> it's a Petra sketch. Ashley Banks. Not Sasha Banks. I can't even see the path of this blizzard, eh? 
All right, so now we got the map to where the uh, the Snow Temple, whatever's next. Ooh, Snow Peak place. Ruins. Ah, oh, yeah, Snow Peak Ruins. Don't ruin the fun for me. This is where you get to go link boarding. What? Play Jenga. What? Oh, wait, she sketched the red fish. Is that right? It was like a monster fish. holding a fish. Oh, yeah. Prince Robbins, that's right. That's the fish we rescued. I love their heads. <laughs> yeah. We know. Yeah, beautiful part of the game. Oh yeah. I know we've been before. I love the Zora theme. Yeah. Well, hey there. Uh, go fishing. Uh, go fishing. Uh, <laughs> I see yeah. you have fins. I have fins too. Hey, yeah, me too. Ah, oh, no, you don't, deal hole. Shut up, bud. I need you. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what if we close our eyes and pretend he's a chit? The hell? <laughs> yeah. I used to love to watch episodes of J-Man and Weega, I mean, uh, Beavis and Butthead. J-Man and Weega. Weavis and J-Man, uh, J-Head, fail. J-Head? <laughs> that made no sense. We did a Let's Play of that back in 2015, I think it was, Shameless Plug. Oh, the, um, the Beavis and Butthead game? Yeah, for SNES, yeah. Oh, well, that's the better that, one, that, so... Yeah. Cool, we got to swim up the waterfalls just like you do in uh, Oracle Seasons. Princess and Prin Another Princess Child Ru Rock. Prin Princess nice Ru reference there. Princess Ruda 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 Rota Ruler or Ruda, whatever her name was. Yeah, just Ruda Roder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sprung on Link. Sprung a leak? Wait, whoa. Uh yeah, I remember that. Like she wanted she wanted to uh, marry Link. Yeah, some fish is going on there. So, look at the map here. Lenayru Province. As Jamie say, crack, we're going to Crackhead Village. Oh no, the Crackhead Village! Yeah. Uh, he cracks Too me up. Too bad Dompe's not in this game anymore. Oh yeah, Dompe? Yeah. I thought I said Dante. I'm like, what? Dante from Devil May Cry. Yeah, Dante's, <laughs> Dante's Inferno? What? Who's that? Whoa! No, it's me, Link. <laughs> Send the midget out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I just transformed into a human right in the middle of public. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't roll to the grave, you idiot. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna go back to the Zora Princess or the Zora Queen's grave here. I have a hunch that the prince is... Yep, there he is. I have a hunch because I've played this game before. Hey, do you like my hat? Yeah, I'm the one that saved your ass. I know you're mourning your mother and all, but I need a favor. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to tell you, your mom's dead. No, <laughs> no kidding. He looks like a Munchkin from Munchkin Land, painted silver. I don't realize, <laughs> how, I don't realize how little he was till now, like, because you saw him on his deathbed in previous parts of the game, and here he's like, oh yeah, that's forgot he is a child. Cool eyes, though. That thing on the top of his head's like moving on its own. Yeah. It must be a reek fish. That fish must reek of awesomeness. Be Edge's favorite fish. <laughs> and now for the benefit of flash photography. Yeah. <laughs> we call this five second pose 
the Zora flush. And they flush down the toilet. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right, the core earring. Well, they give it to me then. Yeah. Nice. I it would hurt getting stabbed by that. Yeah, right? That'll get you hooked. <laughs> <laughs> I love this beautiful music right here. What was this from Ocarina Time again? The Serenade of Water? Yes. That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was doing that, but... <laughs> We're here with Porky Pig. <laughs> Mother and Child Rocks in the Waterfall Basin near my village. Fisher Red, Violet of Blue. Like this game, it's ECW. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so let's go fishing. What if I caught one of those other those Zoras instead? <laughs> oh, you caught a hundred pound fish. <laughs> this, one's a real, this one's a real lunker. Yeah. <laughs> fish on. Go right to her nipple. Oh jeez. <laughs> well. Reek fish, twenty five inches. It reeks. <laughs> Alright, so transpire went back to a wolf and wore it back to. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, what the? The pose scent. Oh, the reek fish scent. What? I smell pretty bad. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at it. It's like flopping and flopping. And the... <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, this, this LP flopped. Yeah, the Zoras are pretty cool. Never mind that there's a wolf with an imp girl, you know, just <laughs> wadding through the water. Yeah. It's like, yeah, pff, that's everyday shit. <laughs> yeah. The guard's like, I don't know. I don't want to know. Back at Snow Peak. So do we get to go link boarding now? Uh, not quite yet. Well, we could turn the hose on him. <laughs> yeah. Those the ice caps from Ocarina of Time and Jabu Jabu's domain, wherever it was. Yeah, Jabu Jabu. Yeah. It's possible, sort on Swordless Link's channel when he was playing through Ocarina of Time, it's actually possible, as Adult Link when it's frozen over, to act, get inside Jabu Jabu's belly because the loading zone is actually still there underneath the ice. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Well, what? Okay, welcome to Snow Dogs for the GameCube, where you play as GameCube Gooding Jr. What is this, Day After Tomorrow? <laughs> what is it, Dances with Wolves? No, this is good. Oh. <laughs> I haven't seen it, I just always heard about it. I've seen it years ago, but I can't remember much about it. I like Snow Dogs. It was pretty good for what it was. Freaking ice wolves to take a bag from Mokarina Tom. I love how no matter how much danger he's in, he always makes sure he shows you what he got. Yep, because Tom freezes when you hold up an item, so I'm gonna start doing that in real life. If I if I feel like I'm in danger and someone's coming after me, I just wanna hold up something that'll put me stuff in the In Wind Waker, I believe when you get when your grandmother gives you the green tunic, you the camera cuts away from Link when he shows it to you, back to her, and it's it shows him like from a different angle holding it up. Like in the real world, he was actually doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when he went into the fishing hut? He's like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what part was that? <laughs> oh, I don't remember. We've done so many. Man, it might have been part 13 or 14, whatever, by Phoenix. It's one of those, we're in like late Halia. Just doing some grinding and fishing with bonus games. And Link walks in. Yeah. Link walks in in that fishing hut and his face is like, <laughs> like he's so <laughs> he's so mesmerized with seeing all the fish stuff or something. I don't know. That's like me if I walked into a uh, a game store. <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah. 
And I told the story already. I worked with a girl that reminds me of Agatha. Oh, really? <laughs> and I showed her. She goes, Ronnie, that's not me. And she, she was sorting out civil war. She goes, I'm standing to a bunch of knobs here, Ronnie. <laughs> I said, well, it may not look like you, but it kind of sounds like the personality. Hi. I'll be taking I'll be taking <laughs> Yeah, she has that voice. She has Agatha's voice for sure. About the same height as Agatha, too. <laughs> a bunch of ice bats around here, wherever they are. Yeah, we're, we're, we're about to come upon what... I don't know if it's my favorite dungeon in the game, once you get inside of it. But, like, the ambience around it, I, I would just really, really love... The next dungeon. Yeah, I really like it too, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, oh, cool. I also like the item that you get in it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that I wasn't expecting that for sure. Yeah. Okay, this part of the game reminds me of the snow section in Majora's Mask. Oh, Snowhead Temple. I think so. Yeah, we fought a giant buffalo blizzard. I forgot. Goat. Yeah. A goat, the greatest of all time. <laughs> time to learn another song. So where are we at right here when this happens? Like, let's look like we're in the alternate dimension here. I guess it's like a over. Uh, it overlooks all of Hyrule. I think it's supposed to be symbolic. Because right there is the snow section we're at. Then behind, right there, that's the Goron Mines. We transcend time itself. Yeah. Oh, let's see. We're going to have to do some Doctor Who shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. This song right here has a different beat to it. I thought he spins around. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Just follow your nose. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Thanks, Toucan Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Toucan Sam. <sighs> oh, let me guess what's in here. More snow. Yeah, more pose. Yeah, this game. You definitely... sounded like a redneck just then. More snow. <laughs> yeah, more snow. You sound like uh, the guy, the get good guy. Uh, more snow, F you! Yeah, get good, F you! More snow, more snow! Post for hose! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> po pose before hoers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to beat this hoe! <laughs> We're gonna have a hoe down! Yeah, that's definitely, um... <laughs> yeah, I love the hand prints on the door. Don't slow down for the hoe down. I had his teacher, she's talking about, don't forget to fill out your permission forms. <laughs> As Don Phoenix is typing up uh, something else to, to watch, because this is boring. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's just someone just sent me a message, so I just wanted them to get a quick reply. <laughs> But, um... Oh, shit. Oh, another warp zone. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck is that? Hey. Looks like a giant snowball. It's Wait Bigfoot, a I found him. That's it's not a snowball. It's one of the abominable snowmen. Yeah, the one from that, um, what was it, that Rudolph the Red Nose cartoon thingy, yeah. the bobber? Well, it's either, uh, it's the one of the snowmen from The Mummy 3. Oh, wait, that's... The bum the bumble. 
That's Star Soldier. I know like Mega Man 5. <laughs> 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 Mega Man 5 is joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fish. For some reason, I, pi I, I, I picture this guy with a voice like Andre the Giant. Yeah. Yeah, that would that would, that would make sense. Ganondorf is over! <laughs> Instead, he sounds more like Bastion Booger. <laughs> you come to the house and see yourself. Remember the episode of Raw where Bastion Booger was just eating stuff in his face? Yeah. While doing commentary. Remember the monk that he was before? Yeah. Friar Ferguson? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Chris, it's time. Oh, yeah, link boarding. Yep. 3 a.m. We have to go, go do some link boarding. Is there a game called Snowboarder 1080 or something? Yeah, on the N64. 1080 snowboarding. Yep. Oh, cool. There's one on the GameCube it's... called um, 1080 Avalanche that's also really good, too. Alright, nice. This is cool. <laughs> Remember Cliffhanger on the NES where you actually, like, ski down on a dead body? <laughs> I never played that. I've seen gameplay of it, and I do remember seeing that, and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> that's the best part of the whole game. Yeah. They can't. They can't do that in the NES JR. Ah. Um. What was I gonna say? Whoa. Um. It's like I wonder if the game Cliffhanger has a cliffhanger. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we wait for the sequel to come out for years. Yeah, I think it was it um, Stallone that played in that movie Cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. Him and John Lithgow. Yeah. Do you remember the parody that Ace Ventura did of that movie? Um. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, get good, Ronnie. Get good. Jump cut. <laughs> no, it's not a jump cut. This is me starting over. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. That's not me playing. Uh, it's someone else playing. Uh. uh. Oh. Oh, this gets oh. here. And back here, there is a think somewhere up there. That little mountain right here is another Poe. Neither rain nor Poe, no dead of night. You up there? You I don't idiot. know why I said that. I just felt like it. Are you writing a novel? No. <laughs> There's only <laughs> just a sentence. <laughs> Chris, what's up? Doing commentary with these idiots? What are you doing? Oh, um, yeah, I'm just, um, yeah, doing some commentary with, get yeah, people. <laughs> yeah. With Romblower and some guy, guy named, uh, my, Michael Tidbits, or whatever. Tidbits? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a tidbit of information, uh, I think just called another Poe here, was that number 40-something? It's like, what are you gonna do with all those souls? And give them to Rouse Hour. Where you keep? Where you keep? Where you keeping them? Right. Well, I don't know. In like some sort of soul chamber, it's like Shane Assumed and Freddy Krueger did. <laughs> well, time to learn a new skill here. I forgot to do this earlier. So here we go. It's like, oh, I'm gonna fight you, even though I've done this like 20 times. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Your life may be forfeit. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't wanna. All right. But thou must. Now, come at me, bro. Come at you? All right. <laughs>
You say that every time. <laughs> yeah. The jump strike? I can do that already. Yeah. Let's fight to the death. I mean, fight. <laughs> I'm already dead inside. You can't kill me. <laughs> oh. The good thing I was like standing right here, or else I would have got my head cut off. Yeah. <laughs> so the snow. Like, how is it effective? It wasn't effective against me. Round one. Fight. Fight. Finish. <laughs> this is where Link got good for Soul Calibur. <laughs> Yeah, this is all the shit I had to go through to go join Soul Calibur. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, one more skill to go. Damn right, I'm endowed. <laughs> Endow, endowed, 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 fell. <laughs> what? Endowed, <laughs> endowed, endowed, Jeff, endowed, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jeff will pop up in the next episode. We're doing a dungeon. He's bound to pop up out of some pot. Right. All here. right. Hey. Yep. So here's... Actually, oh. I don't know if that little guy's in this one. We'll find out the next part as we enter Snow Peak Ruins. And we'll next see time, you. I want to go now. Yeah. <laughs> well, too bad. We gotta go to bed now. No, uh, it yeah. is. And we'll see that in part 21. Till then, God bless and take care. Yep, see you see guys. You.